Hospitals across the country have reported a rise in lung transplants for patients with severe cases of COVID-19, and that's created new challenges for doctors along the way. COVID-19 has really struck the transplant community in a very unique way, from the donor side of things to the recipient side of things. So we've had to think about the donors that we we're taking to transplant. And for a while there, we thought donor activity would actually become an issue and that we wouldn't have enough donors. Dr. Marie Budev is the director of the Lung Transplant Program for Cleveland Clinic. She says COVID-19 can cause permanent lung damage due to the inflammatory response from the virus. Patients with that kind of damage are often on a ventilator or oxygen and are unable to recover on their own. She says rigorous testing is done before a transplant. They not only want to make sure the organ is healthy, but that there are no signs of COVID-19 infection. She says their other big concern is making sure the recipient doesn't contract any illness after they've recovered. That's why she continues to emphasize the importance of wearing a mask, social distancing, hand washing, and getting vaccinated. If people would just get vaccinated, you might not be saving somebody else's life. You could save your life. And in many cases, you could save somebody else's life that you don't even know you ended up saving because you would not be infected or an asymptomatic carrier. I, I just urge people, listen to the facts, listen to science, take the vaccine. Dr. Budev says it's also important to think about becoming a donor if you aren't already. According to the United Network for Organ Sharing, there are more than 107,000 people who need a life-saving organ transplant in the United States.